This is a GPS data logging device based on an Arduino Uno. Arduino Uno is inside this plastic case, a 9 volt battery. On here I've got full size breadboard with some sensors and inputs. So that is a photo cell to measure the current light values. Um, that's an SD card slot, micro SD card slot. So micro SD card is right on the top. There's the GPS. Um, those three LEDs in the center of the screen represent the sat current satellite signal. So the one on the far left is red, indicating no fix. The one in the center is yellow, meaning it's it's got a fix, but it's a weak fix. And uh, the one on the right is green, indicating that it's it's a strong satellite fix. Um, these three in the center of the screen now, they're they're connected to these slide switches down here. Um, they're used to represent binary inputs. So um, that's that's one, that's two, that's four. So depending on if these switches are on or off, you can represent the numbers between zero and seven. Um, it'll become more clear once I kind of give you a demonstration. And that's a button. So when I press that button, it takes all of the satellites, uh, the, the current location and the sensors coming off the photocell and the state of these binary inputs and writes it to uh, the SD card, micro SD card. So go ahead and turn it on. So it's got it's green right away. So it's got a got a good satellite fix. So again, I mentioned the the binary inputs, how they work. I'm going to bring up my sheet of paper. So when you're locating things in the field, you want to be able to keep track of what they are, so that when you come back in the office, or you know plug plug the SD card into your computer, you actually know what that thing was. So ideally, um, we reserve say one or zero for lights. One is a bench two is rock, three is garbage can, and so on. You can make thing, these things whatever you want, but the important thing is that when you're out collecting this information, you can change the settings. So here, so right now I've said, okay, this is a, this is a type one, um, this is a type four. So if you know your binary, that's, that's what these switches are. And when I, um, when I click this button, The SD, the it, it flashes a few times just to let me know that it was successful that it the information got written to the micro SD card. So what actually got written was this. So it records latitude, longitude, the current light sensor value, and the current binary inputs in CSV format. So that would look like something like latitude, longitude, longitude, the light. and the type. So this would be something like 40. Um, it rec records five decimal places. Come along. Now the light value, the uh, this, this light sensor, it's an analog input, so it records values between zero and 1023 so you might be getting in outside in the strong daylight you might be getting something like an 800 for the light value and the type again so that's the binary input and it'll be um, somewhere between 0 and 7 whatever they're set on and uh, so when you get back in into, um, into your computer once you've gone out and, and, and recorded all the information shut it off take the SD card out then put it into the adapter, put it into your computer, and uh, you can use the CSV data to um, do do more stuff. Uh, this this device is, um, I'll put a link down at the bottom that you can go to a website where uh, it gives you all more information about how to build this device. It gives you the source code and also how to uh, do further spatial visualization of the data and some further analysis and and also how to use Windows 10 IoT Core and Microsoft Azure IoT Hub to synchronize the data and manage it so you can have multiple devices all out in the field and people submitting their information up to a central cloud location. Thank you.